It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first contestant is Dwayne, and his person is The Rock. Our second contestant is Erica, and her place is Vail, Colorado. Our third contestant is Christopher, and his thing is his tap shoes. And now, she's watched so many old episodes of Ellen that it might have become terminal. It's our host, Melissa Peterman! What, Jamie? Everybody loves a host who comes in and dances. Dance! Dance! Oh, welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where the contestants need to ask me the right questions to get to the right answers. And right now, I'm looking at three very excited contestants who will soon grow tired of me. <laughs> and they are here today in hopes of taking home our grand prize, a trip for two on a lovely Caribbean vacation to the all-inclusive St. James's Club in Antigua. Dwayne, your mouth was open for that. I'm excited. You're excited, I like that. All right, well, let's get started then, okay? In round one, we are gonna play each category, a person, a place and a thing. When it's your turn, you can ask me any yes or no question. You can take a guess if you think you know it. When everyone has a turn, I'm gonna give you a clue. And then anybody can buzz in and give me an answer. If you get it right, you got 100 points. You get it wrong, we have to skip your turn. All right, up first is our person category. This person is an athlete, okay? Now, Dwayne, your name actually is Dwayne Johnson? The Rock. The Rock. <laughs> I can tell everybody I hung out with The Rock. Yes, you can. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, let's see, an athlete. Athlete, mm-hmm. Has he or has he been in movies? No. Is it a male athlete? Yes. Hello, Christopher. Hello. Is this male athlete in basketball? No. Hmm. Time for your first clue. Get your buzzers out. All right, here we go. Your first clue about this male athlete. Sports Illustrated called him the greatest Olympian of all time. Christopher. Oh, Michael Jordan. Thank you. Basketball. Nope, it is not Michael Jordan. All right, that means I'm heading back on over here to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He broke his buzzer because he's so strong. Okay. All right, it's not Michael Jordan. I'm gonna say Tom Brady. No, okay. not Tom Brady. Okay, Erica, what do you think? Does this athlete play football? No. All right, get your buzzers again, here we go. Here is your second clue about this athlete. He retired from competitive swimming in 2016. Dwayne. Michael Phillips? Oh. oh. It is not Michael Phillips. Uh-oh. All right, Erica. Oh my gosh. Erica, what would you like to do? Is it Michael Phelps? Yes! Michael Phelps! Oh. Michael Phillips was a wonderful swimmer as well. Sorry, I thought it was something like that. 100 points to you, Erica. Thank you. All right, uh, we're gonna start with you now, Erica. We are on to our place category, and I'm gonna tell you a little something about this place. This place is a European city. Okay. Can I just guess? Yes, you can just guess. Okay, would it be Paris? <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. okay. Erica, you out of the gate just decided to guess Paris, and I, I didn't even give you any of our clues. Like, there are hundreds of miles of tunnels under this city. It's the largest city in France. You just knew this. Is it one of your favorite cities, or just took a guess? I've always wanted to go there. Always wanted to go there. Yes. Manifest and say yes. it out loud. Well, they got you <laughs> another 100 points, so well done. Okay. All right, our next category is our thing category. And Christopher, don't think I'm not going to ask you to tap dance. <laughs> okay. It's going to happen at some point during okay. this show. All right, I can tell you that this thing is a musical instrument. Beautiful, stunning, <laughs> great work. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, is this musical instrument a wooden piece? No, no. Okay. Twain. Mm. Is it electric? No. Thank you. Erica. Does this musical instrument have strings? No. Okay. Time for your first clue. Here we go. This musical instrument is the oldest of all brass instruments. 
Dwayne. Is it a violin? <laughs> oh, you said a string up. <laughs> no, I said it was a brass I'm instrument. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, no, um, it is not a violin, which means I'm heading on over to you, Christopher. Okay, Slay. Um, is it the clarinet? Is that? That's not brass. Okay. Not brass either. Okay. <laughs> not brass either. All right, Erica. Okay. Is it a baritone? No. Okay. All right, it's time for your next clue. Here we go. Butter buzzers. It's commonly used in classical and jazz ensembles. Erica. Saxophone. Oh. No, it is not a saxophone, but very good guess. Okay, Christopher. <laughs> can I guess? Yes, you can guess. Is it a trumpet? Boom, it's a trumpet, yes! yes. Dwayne is not on the board yet, but that's okay. Christopher has 100 points, and Erica, you're in the lead with 200 points. We'll be right back with some more great questions and even greater clues on person, place, or thing. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. She just spent that whole commercial break dancing. It's Melissa Peterman. I did, I did, I'm a little sore, here we go. All right, what a great first round, you guys. Dwayne not on the board yet. We have got 100 points to Christopher and 200 to Erica, but we are here to play round two. Round two, just like round one, except we're gonna double the points and you get to choose which category you wanna play. Dwayne, since you are trailing behind, we're gonna start with you. So what would you like to play, person, place, or thing? Person. Person, all right. This person is an actor, okay? Can the actor sing? Yes. Okay. Okay. Erica. Okay. Is it a male? Yes. Christopher. Has this actor been in any recent films? We're talking the last five years. <laughs> <laughs> in the last five years. No. Okay, work. Okay, all right. Okay. We're ready for our first clue. Here we go. Last five years. Get your buzzers ready. This actor has appeared on SNL more than 25 times. Christopher. Is it Jim Carrey? It is not Jim Carrey, which means I'm coming right back on over to you, Twain. Been on SNL a ton of times. Hasn't done a movie in five years, but a lot of people haven't done movies in five years. <laughs> It's not because they don't want to, it's their agent just can't get them into an audition. So. I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, has the actor done any stand-up comedy? Yes. Erica. Okay. Has this actor ever won an award? Yes. Time for your second clue. Okay. All right, get your buzzers out, here we go. He starred in over 55 movies including Father of the Bride and the Three Amigos. Christopher. Will Ferrell. No, it is not Will Ferrell. Oh my God. I know <clears throat> who it is. Dwayne. Okay. Have you seen Father of the Bride? No. <laughs> what? Is he still on SNL? <laughs> no. Okay, thank you. He is not still on SNL. All right, okay. I'm sorry. Erica, it's okay, it's okay. I would like to guess. Take a guess. Is it Steve Martin? It is yes. Steve Martin! Yes. Oh, my yes. God. Yes. Thank you. First of all, I'm making you, you go watch The Three it. Amigos. I know. Not I know. Of the bride. Yeah, I know right. Three Amigos. 200 <laughs> points to you, Erica, bringing you up to 400 Congrats. points. Congrats. Congrats. No, okay, uh, Erica, it is your turn to pick. What do you want to play, person, place, or thing? Person. Person. Okay. <laughs> this person is a fictional character. Okay. Does this fictional character have its own cartoon? I'm going to say yes, but I'm going to say it's more like they did. Got it. Okay. Christopher. Is this fictional character, have they been in any Disney movies? No. Okay. Work. Okay. All right. Dwayne. Has the fictional character been any Marvel's projects? Any Marvel projects? Correct. No. Okay. 
time for your first clue about this fictional character, so get your buzzers ready. Here's your first clue. He's voiced in video games by Charles Martinet. Nope, nobody buzzed in. Okay, that means I'm heading over to you, Erica. Okay, so. Voiced in a video game. He's in a video game. Okay, is he on a Nintendo video game? Yes. Okay. Christopher, fictional character. Okay, has this fictional character been in any video games as of five years? You have a big <laughs> for about five years. In the last five years. years. Real talk. Within, within the fat last five years? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because anything that's older than that. You don't want it. You don't want it. I don't want it. I get it. I'm, I'm glad you're just tolerating me at this point. Um, yes. Okay, yes. work. Okay, so you might like it. Okay, Slayer. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna do this. Do it. Is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Nope. Good oh. guess, though. Here we go. Ready for your second clue. Here we go. He has a brother named Luigi. Erica. Mario. <laughs> Mario! <laughs> We'll get another 200 points. <laughs> Christopher, that means it is your turn to pick the category. Person, place, or thing. Okay, let's do person. Well, I don't know if you're gonna like this because okay. <laughs> it's a historical uh, athlete. Oh, great. <laughs> historical <Okay>. athlete. <clears throat> Anything in the last five years. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna work with. No. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Dwayne. Is Dwayne. this person a boxer? No. Oh, that was okay. Erica. Okay. Was this athlete in the Olympics? No. It's time for your first clue. Here we go. Here's your first clue about this historical athlete. He was baseball's first rookie of the year. Christopher. Is it Babe Ruth? Oh my gosh, it is not Babe Ruth, but you knew somebody that did do something <laughs> that was just five years ago. Progress. It's very good, but it is not Babe Ruth. Okay. All right, Dwayne, not Babe Ruth. First rookie of the year. Is it Mickey Mantle? Very good guess, but no, not Mickey Mantle. Erica. Um, did he play for the Yankees? No. Did not play for the Yankees. Here we go, it's time for your second clue. Oh, <clears throat> Here we go. He was the first African American to play in the modern era of Major League Baseball. Dwayne. Jackie Robinson. See who's gonna walk away the winner on person, <laughs> place, or thing. Welcome back to person, place, or thing. Once again, here's our host, Melissa Peterman. <laughs> All right, we've got an exciting game going on here. Christopher has 100 points, Dwayne has 200, and Erica has 600 points. But anything can change right now because it's time for the speed round. So get your buzzers out. I'm gonna read you a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. You are gonna listen to them. When you think you know it, you're gonna buzz in and give me an answer. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out. But just for that question, you can come right back in on the next one. And we are gonna put two minutes on the clock and see how many we can get through. Jamie, put two minutes on the clock, please. Two minutes! Yes, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Time starts now. This person was born in Shawnee, Oklahoma. His first major film role was in Thelma and Louise. Dwayne. Is it on Brad Pitt? Yes, it is. All right, this place was founded in 1701. It's the third oldest university in... Dwayne. Virginia? Nope, it is not Virginia. Mm -hmm. It is in New Haven, Connecticut. Harvard? Christopher, no, it is not Harvard. Mm -hmm. Its famous graduates include William Howard Taft and Bill Clinton. It is part of the Ivy Leagues. All right, nobody got it, it was Yale, here we go. This thing is classified as a string and percussion instrument. 
It has foot-operated levers at the base of it. Piano? Christopher, yes, it is a piano. Here we are. This place was untouched by humans until 1969. It, Dwayne. The North Pole? It is not the North Pole. It's home to the Sea of Tranquility. It is Earth's only natural satellite. Its average distance from Earth is about 240,000 miles. Erica. Time is, is up. Is it the sun? Time is up. It's Dark Side inspired an album by Pink Floyd. Next, it was the moon. Here we go. This person is a Japanese cartoon character from 1974. She is around five apples tall. Her company, Betty Christopher. Bob. Betty Bop? No, it is not. She, yes, Betty Boop, it is not. She, her company claims she is a girl and not a cat. Dwayne. Mickey Mouse? It is not Mickey Mouse. She wears a bow. Hello Erica. Kitty. Yes, it is Hello Kitty. All right, this thing is a popular summer drink. It's the name of one of Beyonce's albums. Lemonade. Christopher, lemonade, you got it. <laughs> this person is a singer, a songwriter, and a producer. It was Pharrell Williams. And you know what? I cannot believe this. That was a fantastic round. Uh, Dwayne, you got on the board with 700 points, but we got a tie with Erica and Christopher. All right, here's how we're going to break it. I'm going to read the clues to a final person, place, or thing. When you think you know the answer, you're going to buzz in. If you're right, you're moving on to the next round. But if you're wrong, your opponent automatically moves on to the final round. All right, Eric and Christopher, are you ready for a tiebreaker? Here we go. This place is an Egyptian landmark. It sits near the Great Pyramids. It is based on a mythical creature with the head of a human and the body of a lion. Christopher, what is this place? Is it um, King Tut? It is not nah, okay, King okay. Tut. It <laughs> is the Great Sphinx. That means, Erica, you are going on to play our final round. Hope you're taking home that amazing trip. Now, Dwayne and Christopher, you two were so much fun, so we're not going to send you home empty-handed. Jamie, tell us what we're going to send them home with. You're each getting a gift card to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble is the world's largest bookseller, a leading retailer of content, digital media, and educational products. Shoppers will find an unmatched selection of books, e-books, magazines, toys and games, music, and much more. All right, when we come back, we're going to see if Erica can walk out with an amazing trip. Stay right here for more person, place, or thing. In that exciting tiebreaker. And you know what? I know that you're excited to get packing for this dreamy vacation. So, Jamie, tell Erica all about it. Experience an authentic Caribbean vacation at the all inclusive St. James's Club in Antigua. Ideally situated in a secluded peninsula, you can retreat from the world or indulge in adventure and exploration. This exclusive hideaway caters to couples, families, and singles, offering something for everyone in a casual, club like ambience enhanced by exceptional, attentive service. Sounds dreamy. I want you to get this trip, okay, Erica? Here are the rules for the final round. You've got to get a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. Okay, you can ask as many yes or no questions as you want. You can guess as many times as you want, if that helps eliminate things. And I've got three clues for you. You can pass at any time, but you have to go back and do all three for the trip. And you know, remember, there's gonna be $1,000 each for the first two correct answers, but you get three right, you got two grand, and that fabulous, fabulous trip. So, here we go. Your person is a hip hop artist. Your place is an international landmark, and your thing is a toy. Where would you like to start? Person. You wanna start with a person, okay. And that person's a hip hop artist. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. I have done. All right, good luck, Erica. Thank you. Time starts now. Is it a male? Yes. Jay-Z? No. Is he, does he have an album out? Yes. Um, oh God. Would you like uh, a clue? Yes. He was discovered by Dr. Dre. Eminem. No. Oh my gosh. Um, Do Snoop Dogg. Yes. All right, this place, International Landmark. Okay, is it um, in California? No. 
Uh, is it in um, Southern California? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Is oh gosh, clue. This United Kingdom church was the site of Queen Elizabeth's coronation. United Kingdom church. Um, okay. Um, it's a national landmark, and it's oh gosh, uh, another clue. Okay, it hosted the royal wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton. Oh my gosh, it's a uh, downtown Abbey is what I'm thinking. Um, let me go ahead and pass. Okay, here we go. This thing's a toy. Does it bounce? No. Okay, is it a plushie? No. Um, can you, does it play music? No. Um, does this toy, um... Oh! Again, the same thing. Erica, okay, I'm you like a one -hit were wonder. so, so very, very close. Okay, <laughs> you were, that church you called? were like Downton Abbey, which by the way is a wonderful <laughs> program if anyone's watching it, you, but you were so close. Westminster, Westminster Abbey, right. so close. Downtown, and even without Abbey. a clue, you were narrowing down that toy. It was a slinky. Okay. But you know what? Not so bad. Not so okay. bad for a little bit of work because you okay. got Snoop Dogg and a thousand dollars. And Jamie, tell us what else she's going home with. You're going to enjoy this Cuisinart 14 cup food <laughs> processor and 15 piece cutlery set for all of your cooking needs. Yay! Cuisinart is a universally recognized brand that has always encouraged consumers to savor the good life. Nobody covers the kitchen like Cuisinart. Erica, not bad. You got some great Thank stuff for the so kitchen. Much. You got a thousand dollars and my undying admiration. Thank you did you. very well. <laughs> I'm Melissa Peter and this person hopes that you had fun in this place because I love doing this thing. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah.